I'm Dr. Alan Olo Austin, the founder of Trigenics and the Trigenics Exercise and Treatment Training System. Today we're out in the park with our new DVD on living exercise. How you can simply live exercise. That means each and everything that you do during the day is an opportunity for you to get some exercise without paying for it, without having to go to a health club, without having to even go out of your way for more than one minute. You can get excellent cardiovascular and muscular exercise each and every day of your life. day I got a beautiful feeling everything's going my way good morning well here we are waking up or we could be going to bed and we're in an opportune location first thing in the morning to just work on our six-pack in bed you wake up and start working on your stomach muscles You'll just put your feet together and put your knees as far apart as possible and keep the hands by the ears. Always sit up from the chest, keeping the neck as straight as possible. The ceiling three, four, five, and you continue to do that and you should feel it in the lower abdominal area. We can go into the neck exercises and remember this takes no more than five minutes in the morning, probably less. And what you're going to do is strengthen up all the muscles in your neck. Very, very important because this is really overlooked. And a lot of neck problems come from weak muscles, weak neck muscles. So we're going to raise it up about one inch. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Back to the center. Right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Sideways motion. Chin to chest. Back one inch. Rotate around to the left. Rotate around to the right, and if you want to, then you can put your head down. So from there, then we can just turn around. The bed is the best place to do your buttock exercises, believe it or not, because we have to get up on our knees. It's the perfect place to do these buttock exercises. And remember, if you can do 50 of each, then you're going to be pretty, 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 pretty darn good shape, and you're going to have an attractive looking body in that particular part of the body that you are working on. Um, everything's going to be in shape just from starting the day doing li and living exercise from your bed. Fantastic exercise for the inner and outer thigh muscles is just simply going around in small circles either facing outward or inward. I'm doing this in the middle of the park. All kinds of people are watching and looking and wondering, but that's because I'm not afraid of what anybody thinks. I really don't care what anyone thinks because I am enjoying life. I'm getting free exercise, living exercise. I live exercise each and every moment, each and every day. And that gives me a step up on the rest of the world. Because most people are out there paying a lot of money to go to health clubs and fitness clubs that they can actually get the exercise just in their everyday lives. And that's why you're watching this video, because you're going to do it too. Once you've done that, you can go into a lengthening procedure for the adductor group, which is the inside muscles on the inside of your legs. Use the side of your back in through here to actually raise the leg. You're going to work the most important muscle in the back, which is the most important stabilizer, which is the quadratus lumborum, the muscle that attaches your hip to your spine in the middle. So you're raising straight up, and you're looking at your leg this way, so you're looking straight down your leg, and make sure that you almost tilt your head back when you do it. The opposite way, where I switch around legs, 
and coming up straight in line with my buttock and with my side this way. One. Now the other way to add this and make it a trigenics strengthening procedure, remember we're lengthening the adductors and the hams on opposite legs, but to make it a strengthening procedure, you're going to press in here directly into the side, into the muscle that you feel contracting and apply heavy pressure into that muscle, squeezing it and pressing your thumb down and into the muscle. As you do that, you'll be stimulating the um, nerve sensors that control movement and reflex activity in the muscle itself. And you'll actually be adding a dimension to it that increases strength of that muscle more so than if you just did it without actually contacting the muscle. So that's your trigenics PDM and your strengthening trigenics procedure for the quadratus lumborum, the all-important lower back stable while you're walking. Now, if you do the opposing twist this way as you walk, what you're doing is you're working the... Looks a little weird, looks odd, and people are staring at me as I do this. But what you're doing is you're working those all-important oblique muscles in your abdomen. So what, you, what I'm doing is I'm twisting in an opposite direction to the leg that I'm using to walk forward on. That's all it is. But I'm keeping the pelvis fairly straight, and I'm actually feeling the pull in two areas. I'm feeling it here, and I'm feeling it back through here in my oblique abdominal muscles, which are the muscles that you need to strengthen and tonify to get that nice slim waistline, or to get that six pack that you're looking for. So the other thing that you can do while you're walking are the old basic martial arts exercises, which look really strange. And you can do all this stuff while you're actually walking, okay? Just reaching up, twisting your hand, Everybody looks at you, it looks weird, it looks strange. But guess what, you're also getting exercise. You can do them coming down this way, strengthening the muscles as you walk. Now what you can do is you can see that I almost, I very rarely lift any type of weights, but you can see the contraction of the muscle just by contracting it at the end and holding it slightly and just contracting it a little bit harder and keeping everything fairly tense as you walk in the upper body and keeping the lower body loose, you'll actually begin to strengthen these muscles. Well, you know the walk of the guys that have got the really long crotch pants that are down here and the baseball caps are on a little sideways and the huge, the huge kind of a sweatshirt or, or a favorite sports team shirts on and they kind of walk like that anyway. So you can just turn it into one of those kind of walks like this and you get a whole different style of walking. Fantastic way to strengthen your quadriceps while you're walking wherever it is you're going. And remember, these exercises may look a little unusual to other people, but who cares what anybody thinks? You're getting free exercise, so just do it and don't care what anyone thinks and you'll be fine. You're doing a squat, coming down, almost touching the knee to the ground, coming back up again, and coming in and out with your leg, 20 of these, and it only takes a minute, and you look a little strange, like I'm looking at to everybody in the park right now, because everybody's looking at me, what am I doing? But they all realize that I'm getting free exercise. You know what, people are getting used to seeing me this way, is you can simply do the walk this way to strengthen your calf muscles, is to actually walk on, your heat, on, on the balls of your toes this way. So all of these things can be incorporated. Don't go too far. Again, going up, up, up on the toes as you walk. Now this will slow down your walk, but if you want to walk faster, you just try to go up. It's better to actually do this slower than faster, but if you really need to get somewhere fast, and instead of going up and down, what you do is just you simply stay on your toes the whole time instead of doing that. So what's going to happen is you're just going to stay on your toes and walk on your toes. Now I know this probably looks a little odd again as well. And again, we can just swing the arms, tighten the muscles in the body. The other thing that you can do is tighten, tighten the latissimus dorsi. Now when you do this walk on the toes, and you can actually walk just holding your latissimus dorsi muscles tight like this. When you do this, you should be up on your toes as far as possible. 
And the way to actually stress the calf muscle is to take longer steps. So try to go forward and take longer steps. through various exercises that you can do when you first wake up in the morning in your bed on the floor the other thing is that simple simple things like how often have you gone three or four floors in a building and waited for the elevator with a lot of other people and the staircase is right next door to the elevator and all you have to do is open the door and run up the stairs to get some free exercise. When you're going to go three or four blocks away, don't get in your car. Walk. Take a bicycle. But don't get in your car just to go a half a mile. You can, you can walk there at a fast pace or you can jog. Wherever it is that you need to walk, even if you're in the middle of the city, Instead of walking, wear a pair of shoes that you can jog in. Wear a pair of running shoes. Wear a pair of soft-soled shoes that you can kind of just pick up the pace a little bit in. Whatever it is you do, pick up the pace. Take the stairs, run. It doesn't really matter. But it's available to you each and every day. You're always in some situation. Even if you're waiting in a lineup, you can do basic exercises instead of just standing in the lineup with all the other people and staring at the ceiling and remember it doesn't matter what anybody thinks they may all think you're completely cuckoo it doesn't matter you're getting free exercise you're keeping yourself in shape you're being smart and health is wealth i'm dr alan olo austin with living exercise for you